Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we are on day 11 of Poet Spices, 12 Days of Christmas Cheer. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Hey guys, so if you are new here, recap, uh, I am participating in Poet Spice's 12 Days of Christmas Cheer along with a bunch of other amazing women. Go ahead and check uh, my description box for all the links to their channels. They are mostly uh, like crafting or card based, but again, amazing uh, videos. Definitely check them out. I decided to do a coloring page. I did split this page up in 12 and I am testing out 12 different brands of pencils. If I seem both subdued but hurried, um, it's after work on Tuesday the 7th and I'm just, I'm a little tired, but I also want to make sure I get this done so I have enough time to edit and uh, schedule this out for Saturday and Sunday. So this is Opal's Moments Holy for Yourself. I do have the page tagged. These are her last two spots and I'm going to look at my pencils and see, because uh, I'd like to work on this one right now and then end the series with this one right here, but it really depends if there's any blues because the pencil set I'd like to use for this is my Black Widows. Let me just mark this as number 11 so that can dry. Oh, I think that's the last one we did. Yeah, because we did the smushing and that was number 10. Does everything else have a number? Okay, so I do have them in here. Um, I have my Black Widows, my Montmartre, and my Butter Squares in here. And my Black Widows are these two sets right here. These are the two skin tone sets and that's the set uh, sets that I had for the longest time. It's the light and the dark set. And then I picked up the Scorpion set and I had thought to integrate the pencils, but then it wasn't until I was doing that that I realized, oh, these don't have a colored end. They're all black. And so I don't swatch anything. I'm not going to swatch any of these, but that was like, oh, I should have looked more. So I don't know if I'm ever going to buy any more Black Widow pencils, but if I do, I certainly would want them like this because you guys know, because I don't swatch, I either depend on the tip of the pencil or the barrel just to give me, or the tipped end, just to give me an idea of what the color actually is. It's just the way I like to color. There are blues here, so we're good there. So I am going to pull some browns, some oranges, maybe a gray, a dark red or something for the ribbon, and then a couple of blues. Now the Black Widows, I can't say I hate them. They're certainly better than Crayolas, but I also wasn't a huge fan of them as well. As skin tones, I thought they were quite horrible to be honest and because that's the only sets that I had for the longest time it just yeah I, I don't I don't reach for these and I'm always looking for a good skin tone set I just didn't think this was it I don't know that I've even used any of these Looking at the tip of the pencils, that one's broken. I don't think I actually have. So yeah, that'll be interesting. And let's pull in this one. At least they have names on them. Some of them only have numbers. I mean, as long as it has some kind of identifying mark, that's okay. Okay, so let's go with our lightest color. And we can actually wash everything in. I don't see a lot of pigment coming up. 
They definitely are a harder pencil. I know there are people who swear by these. And it's, you definitely need to get more of a, a creamy beigey. Well, no, this is sort of beigey. We need something more yellow, but not too yellow for the carpet. And then come down here. So I caught everything but the runner or the tree skirt. Okay. Let's see if this... Yeah, that one definitely works better for the carpet. I'll bring it into this one. I think it'll help look the same if you can see some visible pencil strokes like you can see here. I've been trying to go light just because um, I don't know how much it can take by way of layering. That looks okay for now. I might have to go back in and see if I can find something a little bit more golden. I think that's what's missing. Okay, so I'll just use this for the chairs. No, I think that might be better served here. Because this is definitely more reddy brown, and then this is definitely more chocolatey brown. So bring some orange in. That seems to be helping. Okay. I think it's getting near to the point where it does not want to put any more color down. But I'm thinking we're doing pretty good with this. Just put some lines through. Pretend like we were going for the wood grain effect. And then I think try to add a little bit more orange down here just to warm it up a little. Okay, actually I think that looks good. So let's put this down here. And then we'll come on top of that with one of our more chocolatey browns. This in here, I think this is for... So why did I... Oh no, I think that's the... the other beam on the other side. Okay, so let's darken that up. And I think that's all chair. Because her drawing style is a bit sketchy, it does make it look like, you know, once you're done, you've got a hand-drawn picture that you might have done. 
spoiler, I didn't draw this, but it also makes it a little different or difficult when you're in the really small spaces to figure out what exactly it is you're looking at. Okay, so we've got this one. I'm going to color over the line just to make it look more seamless. And that's the back chair. That's the chair on that side. So let's come in with this chalk tone. <laughs> that's an interesting name. And let's make this darker. It kind of all mashes in together. I mean, I suppose I could come in with a, a fine liner and do some detailing work, but I'm probably not going to. Okay. I'm going to darken so there's a, a clear definition of the cushion. And now it's just about the rest of the chair. Cinnamon and Negra. Oh, I think that one definitely works better. Although I might have to come in here with some orange. just to warm it up a bit. Those are the chair legs from that chair. All right, so I did pull a yellow and I pulled, uh, I think the darkest in the set. Just to make this darker. Because if we can make this darker, then just having the one just slightly lighter in the front of it, just, it gives it, you get more of a sense that there are two chairs going on here versus the one. Okay, and we're gonna come into this one with some orange. And I think I'll go over it one more time with that kind of ready brown. Because we don't want these two to match, but we kind of want these chairs to match. Although it could be like family restaurant style where they're all kind of similar, but not really. Gives it the homey vibe.
They seem to layer okay, but I certainly don't like how they feel in my hand in this book. My fingers are going numb. And that's not unusual, it happens. It happens sometimes with my markers. Um, it happens with pencils. It could be because I'm pressing too hard. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah. I try to avoid that when I can, but sometimes you just can't. Let's come in just lightly with the yellow. And I would have preferred more of a golden, but we're just going to use what we have. Okay. Oh, we still have the floor. Jeez Louise. Okay. So let's... Oh, and we have both sides to contend with. <laughs> Go us. All right. And maybe we'll treat it like we did the ceiling, where it kind of transitions because of how the lighting is. Maybe that's what we'll say. That's why the floors don't look the same. So we'll come in with some yellow. To about there. And then we'll come in with some orange. These lines are definitely more like a ready orange than these lines, which seem a little bit darker. And I don't have a ready orange. So let's see if we can do some transitions. Or maybe these are just Costco floors and you bought them in different batches and so they never match to begin with. I mean, I don't know, no judgment. She's decorating a tree with a squirrel and a, a moose dog. <laughs> mm. I don't mind that, guys. I know. It's the most exciting channel you'll see on YouTube. Let's give the fringe a little bit of personality. That's actually, that's actually good. All right, let's get into the blues. Blues might be problematic. I mean, why wouldn't they? Now, again, I know I didn't sharpen these, but these actually feel better than the skin ones. These go down a lot easier. I actually have to play with these. Once I saw that th there was no tipped end, I'm like, ugh. I'm gonna 
really want to play with you anymore. <laughs> Which is dumb. I mean, I, I spent the money. Oh, oh. Is it going to be the tree skirt that's going to break us? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Yeah, no, I know. I definitely like these better than the, the skin. And that's unsharpened. Imagine what it's like sharpened. Did I pull a gray? I don't think I did. Well, let's do this. Oh, oh, that's pretty. And I'm not putting as much um, pressure on the pencil as I did over here. Okay. Okay, Black Widow. I see you. Oh. I think that's oh okay. Well we need green too. Do we have green? Okay, so I pulled this one. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Let's go over here. Maybe once we add some gray, it'll help it. Or not. <laughs> At this point, it's less about color matching. I'm just making it less jarring about the colors. Although, you know, I think that's what color matching is. <laughs> if you can hear that gurgling, that's my stomach. Kind of want to eat dinner, but I kind of want to finish this first. this. So I'll attack it the way I do when I'm in my planner. Um, if it's not going the way that I want, just keep throwing things at it. I mean, it's got to get better, right? Mm, that wasn't bad. Maybe it's just need more blue on this side. Well, I definitely think that looks better. It's relative. I didn't think it looked that great before, but I think it looks better than it did. Okay, yeah, I, I can deal with that. And I can't tell for sure. Oh no, this is another package. So let's, let's color some of these packages. It's more just to give it a definition. There is a little hint of green right underneath the bar here. Now these are really nice, my goodness. Okay. And not really Christmas color, but I just want to make that there's a definition of something else. Same with this one.
I think that one is done. Although the fringe looks a little weird. I don't remember what color we used, so we're gonna do lines the other way. Yeah, I think that looks better. Oh. <laughs> you guys must be yelling at me. Okay, there's that. Let's color this a little too. Really just to make it look a little different, even though it's not even in the right space, but you guys know we've we've stopped caring about that. <laughs> and I don't know what this is back here. So let's just make it go away by putting it in some shadows. Oh yeah, that looks much better. All right, guys, so number 11, Black Widows. And I'm actually going to split it up. Black Widow skin, I would say, is a two star. But Black Widow Scorpion, that's definitely a four. just in case I don't know what my own notes mean. <laughs> All right, well, I think, well, no, I know we're getting there because we only got one spot left. I'm feeling really good about how the page is going. I definitely like the scorpions a lot more than I thought I would, so that, that's good. And we're going to finish uh, number 12 with my Brett Funners. All right, guys, well, that's it for me for now. And as always, Aloha.